back home in Finland before the Russians were beat back. My great great granddad dreamed of freedom because home was where to lack. Then he heard of a land with citizens not subject to the Russian Tsar. No money in his pocket, the man set out on to a journey far. The trek was not an easy one, crossing the big ocean. Driven only by Sisu, that's a grip that lies with him. Couldn't settle on the east coast, gotta stick with what you know. So the landscape of the upper Midwest is where he decided to go. Minnesota had a wind and rain, ice and pain, lots of folks couldn't take it. But he dreamed of opportunities and he knew he had to make it. The place had forests, lakes, loons, and wild rice, but living there was a chore. But his luck did change when he found the range for to the brim with iron ore. Iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore. My great granddad, he was a miner, spent his whole youth underground. Work hard, work long, let wicks wing pick, should the ore be found. And sweat, blood, and darkness that one cannot define. That's an itty bitty taste of what a miner faced in an underground mine. He didn't care how deep he had to go, he had a family to feed. Now don't you know, although wealth boss man didn't allow, granddad made it into work somehow. He traded his healthy back for bread, you may be asking what for? For the hard-earned paycheck he would have if he found that iron ore. Iron ore, iron ore, iron ore, iron ore. The Vermilion and Cuyuna and the good old Masabi. Well, the miners there, well, they all know nothing in this world is free. Working hard for so long to support your family. It's that principle that makes iron the pillar of our economy. My great granddad's spirit speaks to me. He says, do what you gotta do. Work hard, young man. Always do your best and make time for family, too. Be passionate. Protect your own. Don't forget who you are. And do what's right. Even if it's hard, your will is made of iron ore. Iron ore.